hello everyone welcome back to a brand new video brand new weekly vlog i haven't weekly vlogged in ages just been a mix of me going away to be honest um i didn't weekly vlog the week before i went to milan and then i've just put my weekly my milan vlog up so yeah brand uh, welcome back to the weekly vlogs um i don't have too much going on this week um but we do have some exciting stuff coming up so getting ready for that but yeah just wanted to jump on quickly before going to work say hello welcome back to the weekly vlogs and yeah thank you very much for watching hello everyone i'm back from work um i'm just about to go to the gym so i thought i'd quickly catch up with you i popped into home bargains after work um but I didn't have what I needed and then I went and got some fuel while I was out but yeah I thought I'd just show you quickly what I've got on for the gym so top is Gymshark these bottoms aren't open. able is it I want to say um I actually got them off vintage they were one pound so they'll do they've got a slight hole in the back but for a quid can't complain and then i'm just gonna throw a jumper on but yeah this is my fit today i dropped my phone yesterday well if you know me i'm always dropping my phone but i dropped it and it's like damaged the screen so like like the side of it is just showing like white lights um which is really annoying but just gonna just gonna throw a jumper on because Saturday the weather was so nice and now it's just suddenly gone grey and rainy again. So annoying, but yeah, gonna head off to the gym now. Joe's at the gym at the minute. Um I don't know what I'm having for tea. I had um lunch from this cafe by work um today it's called merlin's but the girls always rave about this chicken wrap they have um and they rang me today and they're like do you want one and i was like god yeah because i've been trying to have one for ages so i had wheat bix for breakfast and then this chicken wrap with fr like some fries and full up still so I don't actually know what I'm going to have for tea. Um, trying to have something light, I think, because I know Joe will still be hungry. But, yeah, going to go to the gym now. It's half six. My class is at seven, but I like to get there early. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. I just feel so full. And I've got Metcon as well tonight. But, yeah, never mind. I'll catch up with you after the gym. Um... If I can take a photo of what I've done at the gym tonight, I'll take one. Sometimes she writes on the board, sometimes she doesn't. But if I do, I'll get one to show you as well. But yeah, I'll catch up with you after the gym. Hello everyone. I'm back from the gym. I don't know how well you can hear me because I've got the fan on. Because I'm coughing. That should be cool. hungry still from um my lunch so i'm just gonna have like not the chips basically just like the mince and salad so i'll show you mine these are the chips that joe's got i just get them from aldi they're so good they're like really crispy so yeah let me put it all together and then i'll show you. Hello everyone i'm back this just really is my favorite place to record like it's just so easy i've just had a protein uh shake drink at the minute i'm just using um this one i'm not a massive fan of the flavor the it's just like squash but i'm not a fan of the orange but there's 20 salmons in there so 
my favourite one so far is the cranberry one. Or I bought the sachets, like you can get the pack of them. I like the lemon one to be honest. So just having that, that's got like 20 grams of protein in I think. And then I'm going to have one of these. These are the best protein bars. I, I keep buying them. Like I bought so many of them now. I also have the cookies and cream one, but chocolate's my favourite. So I'm gonna have one of them and finish. And then that is my treat. It's just it doesn't taste like protein. I just love them and they're so filling. So I'm gonna have one of them. I don't know if we're gonna watch anything. We're just really watching Euphoria. Joe's never watched it, so we've started that um again so he can watch it. So maybe an episode of that, but yeah, my little snack for tonight. I'm so tired to be honest, but yeah morning everyone <sighs> what was I say? now this sounds crazy but what we're doing we're getting a dog yeah i have a dog and we're getting a dog hey well we're getting a dog i can't believe that's just revealed that i know in like three and a half weeks so we always get up at like half seven however because obviously we're away from work we need to practice time so we can walk the dog in the morning so we're up at quarter to seven this morning, just going on a little walk as if we already have maybe. But yeah, that's what we're going to call her as well. I won't say any more than that because I want to do um, like a separate. It's all good. I was going to reveal it because um, I want to do a separate video on like getting ready for a puppy um, and all stuff like that. So, but yeah, Tuesday today we're up and out. On a little walk as if we already have her. And yeah, so happy Tuesday everyone. Hello everyone. I just wanted to show you tea super quick because it's currently 10 past nine and we've only just got in for the EMT. So I'll catch up with you after. But spag bowl, our fave. I'm just gonna put some barmesan on. And then we've got garlic bread as well to go with it. So yeah. Hello everyone, um, I'm just coming on to catch up with you quickly before I go to bed. I'm so exhausted um, today. I know I spoke to you briefly this morning. I was meant to speak to you when I got back in after our walk, but to be honest, just completely forgot. Um, but yeah, I spoke to you on our walk this morning. So we are getting a dog, we're getting a little puppy. I won't say any more than that just yet, um, but we've been trying to get into a routine of like getting up earlier. So when she's here, we'll get used to having to get up early to like take her for a walk and take her downstairs because we obviously live in an apartment. So we'll have to get up and like take her out and stuff like that. So we've been trying to just like get into a routine of just getting up and going out um so we're used to it for when she comes so that's what we did this morning and then we had a bit of a busy night to be honest i went to the gym as usual um straight after work and then we went for a sunbed but i also went to get my car washed um and the sunbed shop was so busy we didn't actually get home um from like doing all that until nine o'clock so we literally got in quickly made tea and lunches and that um and then we've actually been setting up her um crate and like i bought some bits today um like some treats a toy some like little practical bits so i was showing joe all that so that's what we've done for the rest of the night but i'm gonna make a whole separate video on like getting getting her basically like what we've been buying what we're doing how we've like how we've gone about it what stuff we've put in place like all stuff like that so that will be in a separate video so that's why i haven't shown you much of tonight i'm just plaiting my hair um to go to bed i'm just absolutely boiling i don't know why um but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning um because jess is coming tomorrow night so if you've watched my weekly vlogs you'll know that jess is doing a master's here 
um, but she commutes from back home where I live, so, well, I obviously live in Liverpool, but, like, where I'm from, so she's been stopping with us on a Wednesday, um, but this is actually her le last week in uni before it's all done then, like, she's obviously got to do a dissertation, but, um, this is, like, her last week of going in, so she's coming over tomorrow so i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning instead so we can spend the whole night with her so yeah so i thought i'd just jump on quickly just brush her hair i put the wrong car like on that's why i'm putting it on twice but yeah go to the gym in the morning see jess tomorrow night but yeah regarding the dog i really want to make like a separate video on it anyway just like i just think it's nice for like memories and that and obviously me and joe have both had like dogs as family like family dogs but this is going to be our first one that we own um like ourselves so yeah i just want to like talk about how what things we're putting in place um because we live in an apartment so it's slightly harder i can do you a little haul of stuff that we've got um and yeah all stuff like that so that will be a separate video so we don't collect her until the 13th of may that weekend so that will be up after that anyway um but definitely keep an eye out for that so yeah i'm gonna go to bed now um because i've got the gym at seven but yeah good morning everyone happy wednesday so just been to the gym you'll probably notice because I'm talking to you in the car um yeah just been to the gym this morning um Jess is coming tonight I think I said yesterday so decided to go this morning which oh, I really ache from I think it's still Monday's class to be honest so this morning my alarm went off and I was literally like oh do I have to go but as always feel loads better for going um and getting up so at least that's all done now um so yeah just doing a quick bit of skincare before i go to work um tonight's plans are well jess is coming so we'll just have tea and then probably have a catch up I'm going to show her all the bits that we got for the puppy as well. I know I keep talking about it and I haven't showed you, but I just feel like a video on it all, all together will just be so much better. And to be honest, so much like more fun to watch. So I might show you a little sneak peek. But yeah, just wanted to come on and say good morning. Um, my eyebrows are looking a bit mad. The thing is, is because when I do the sm spoolie, and push them up it makes my skin go a bit red for a minute and it looks really red on camera but promise it's not that really well life so yeah that's all done just got changed and everything um my hair is greasy so i've just put it in a low bun uh, a low pony but yeah gonna go to work now and then i'll catch up with you probably later um so yeah hello everyone can't believe i haven't caught up with you at all today i was meant to catch up with you this morning and i just realized when i was on my way home from work that i didn't so so sorry for that and didn't catch did i catch up with you last night i can't remember now um anyway i've just finished work the sun is shining like shining so i thought um let's go into b&m because i don't really go into b&m much now we went in like the other day i think with joe because we were looking at puppy stuff just to see like get an idea of what it was like but i'm, I'm a home bargains girl now because there's one close to me but there's one around the corner from work so i thought right seeing as i haven't catched up course up with catched up course up with you much this week let's go into b&m let's have a little look around see what's new see what i can see in there see if there's anything exciting because i feel like b&m's got a little bit expensive now i don't know if that's just me um but yeah let's go and have a look see what we can find see if there's anything cute in there and i thought what better time to bring you along with me so yeah 
right ever since I found out we're getting a little pup I've been obsessed with looking at the dog aisle but look how cute these are little cookies and then there's Fish fingers and chips. Look how cute they are. One nineteen, and then they've got loads of like different stuff, like fruity lollies. And then me and Joe saw these the other day. I actually thought were quite cool. They like they fully do Scooby snacks now. We use stuff like this with Ivy though. Like they're called yak chews. Um, I don't think these are like the real ones, but. Um, these are really good for like dogs that just like chew through everything. But look at all these. This is the defo like a Kong knockoff. But they've got so much. Jo really wants to get one of these because she's a sausage dog and he was like, How funny would it be for us to just walk around with sausages? Two fifty as well, which wasn't bad. But then we saw all this stuff the other day, which I'm definitely going to pick up. So this is like a three pack of like little rope toys for three quid. And then there's like rope bears, but they're all like puppy ones. Just been looking at the bedding. How beautiful is this colour? Love the waffle. I really like this one as well, but these and they've got loads of different colours. We really like this grey as well, to be fair. But £18 love this one as well i don't know what this is called but it's like puffy isn't it they've got loads of this as well but love that that's what it looks like this is defo my favorite aisle in bnm but just quickly saw these these are so cute like the little stone so lovely and then they've got all like these as well which i don't know if it's really in fashion anymore but it used to be a lot but they've got loads of like this wicker kind of thing. I randomly spotted these mugs but they're gorgeous. Hello everyone, this is tea. It looks a bit messy because it all just fell out the pan. Um, but this is hoisin pork. I get it from Aldi, it's just like a pack. And then I've just fried off some rice, eggs, and then I've added sweet corn and mushrooms into mine. But it's honestly so tasty. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. I didn't speak to you yesterday after we went to the cinema. I think I showed like a clip of what we were watching. It was awful, like it was that bad we walked out. Which is really shame because it's got this guy in called like Henry or something. Um, he was in that film about, you're not gonna know about Christmas, but the film that we went and saw last night was called The Assassin Club and it was awful. Like it was like something that your mom would put on, not, well, you know like them Channel 5 films that you would watch like at 1 o'clock on a Saturday or something? Like it was awful but anyway that's good job we've got Limitless because you can see all these shit films for free. Um, but yeah Friday morning I'm just around the corner from work. PSA anybody that's got O2 you can get so much stuff free from Greg's. Like this one, I get one every Friday, bacon roll with ketchup for free. Um, it's just on the O2 priority app. So yeah, I need to get one of them every morning, but I'm going to go off to work now. Um, oh my God, I couldn't swallow that then. I think I've got hay fever coming. I never get hay fever, but I'm so like stuffy and like my throat's a bit sore. So I'm wondering whether it's hay fever. Um, that guy's just literally just seen me record that. That's so awkward. Anyway, Joe's going out tonight with work, so it's just me in. So yeah, I'll catch up with you later. See what I get up to. I think I'm just going to watch something that Joe doesn't usually like watching, and have pasta for my tea because Joe's not a massive fan of pasta. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. But I'm going to have to work now, and I'll catch up with you later. Hello, everyone. I'm back from work. I actually got back a little earlier tonight because I went in earlier. So I've just come back from, I just walked around the docks. Um, I went and got Joe's bag from him because he's gone out tonight with work. Um, so I went and got his 
work bag off him so he didn't have to carry it around. Did a little walk around the docks, popped into home bargains. I got some hairspray because I ran out when I was in, um, I wanted to say Rome then, but my bad. So I've just gone to home bargains, got some hairspray, got myself a can of Fanta. I'm going to have a nice little chilled night to myself. Um, I just feel like sometimes it's nice just to be by yourself, like have a little pamper. So my plan is my hair needs washing. Um, I'm going out tomorrow with some girls from work. So I'm going to wash my hair tonight. Um, so it's all fresh. I am going to the gym in the morning, but I'm going to plait it in the socks tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I can just put it up for the gym. And then when I come back, like put it down, brush through and my curls should be fine. So I'm going to have a nice shower, wash my hair, shave, everything like that. And then I've got my fav one of my favourite teas, pasta. Um, so I'm going to have that. Find something on TV that Joe doesn't usually like watching. And yeah, just have like a nice little chilled night. So I thought I'd just catch up with you. I'll might show you, shall I show you what I use in the shower actually? Because um, I feel like I love knowing what products people use. And I do usually share like, because I only wash my hair once a week, which I don't know if at some point I'm going to change. Where can I put you? No, put you there and I'll just kneel. Because basically, I have my hair up quite a bit because um, I wash my hair once a week. And obviously I go to the gym like three or four times, so it gets greasy from that. But I've no, I don't know if it, if it is or whether like... I'm just overthinking it, but the sides here, I just feel like are thinning a bit. And, I, and I'm just thinking, is it because I slip my hair back all the time? But I slick it back because it's greasy. But then it has grown because I haven't washed it as much. So I'm a bit in a bit of a dilemma. So I think next week I'm going to buy, you know, the hair syrup off TikTok. I think I'm going to buy their rosemary oil and just see if I can grow the fronts maybe because I just feel like it's thinning a bit I've always had thin hair at the front from when I used to bleach my hair and it definitely has got thicker but I don't know if I'm just being paranoid so yeah but anyway back to what I use so to be honest I used to be one of them girlies that when I had my extensions and bleached blonde hair I'd use Olaplex like I'd really go hard on like hair care. Um, but since I've had my short hair, I just buy whatever, to be honest. I just buy what I feel like at the time because my hair has still grown with not buying Olaplex. Like it's still got so much thick. If I can find, I didn't really take many hair photos of what my hair used to look like when it was thin and bleached because obviously I hated it. Um, but yeah. I just buy whatever now. Um, so the one I'm using at the minute is Ultimate Blends, the honey one. I really like this. I usually kind kind of try and stick to like damaged hair kind of ones, like breakage, stuff like that, because obviously my hair was really damaged around the front. It's definitely grown now, but I still try and stick to that because obviously I do feel like I've got a bit of a way to go. And then the condition I've been using, I love the smell of coconut. I hate the taste of it, but love the smell. So this is the Dove Restoring Ritual Conditioner for stronger hair without signs of damage. So that's the one I've been using. And then oh, for body wash, I use, sorry, for body wash, I use two different ones. So for my main body, I love the Nivea ones. The coconut one's my favorite, but this one is probably my second best, to be honest. The orange and avocado oil. And I just get this massive bottle from um, Home Bargain, 750ml, and it lasts a lifetime. But I just love the smell of it. And then for like more, more sensitive areas, let's say, I use Sanex. Um, it's zero sulfate. It's got no smell to it. 
but I just feel like this definitely helps like down there more like scent and my under my armpits are quite sensitive as well so yeah I use that in other places so yeah that's kind of what I use in my hair and then once I oh sorry my knees once I I won't dry it tonight probably I'll probably just let it air dry but I'll show you what I put on like brushing it and that hello everyone I'm back from washing my hair um all done so i actually washed my hair brush last night because i feel like it's just one of them bright jobs i just never do but listen like there's just water in there and i don't know how you get it out like i've tried to i've just put my towel here too but i tried to squeeze it like a few drops come out like how are you meant to get that out I've put it in front of the, um, what's it called, window all day to try and like dry it out, but honestly I have no idea, I mean it doesn't matter too much to me because my hair's wet, but <sighs> no idea how I'll get that out. Anyway, let's move on. So I've just moisturised with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, Joe got me this. Um, for Christmas it is lovely the smell but like that's how much is left um and then I had a little one in my ASOS Advent calendar that I use just to take away um but yeah I've just moisturized especially my legs my legs really dry out um like straight after the shower so the three main things I always use. I use the Way Leave-In Conditioner. Love this stuff. Um, Multitasking Leave-In Mist that works all day to smooth this off and then detangle hair. And all I do, it says, Mist lightly throughout damp hair prior to brushing um, and styling for added conditioning. All I do, if you can see like the front bits of my hair, where they were um, like damaged because of the bleach. I mean, I've had... Sorry, I just spray it through like those bits and then, but I like mainly focus on those bits. I've had my dark hair now for, is it coming up to two years or three years? Um, God, that sounds so off-putting. Um, for coming up to two or three years now, but obviously damage is damage. And it does take a while to fix it, but it's definitely better. These pieces used to be like here. It was awful. Um, and then, sorry, I started to brush my hair then. And then I also use this Dr. Paul Paul 7-in-1 treatment styler. So, so, God, so hectic, this little bit of the video. So it literally does everything. He, I'm not going to read them all out, but it literally does everything. So I just spray this in as well because... Sometimes if I want to like dry my hair, this has got heat protectant in it as well. And I just find it helps me um, brush my hair better, to be honest. So yeah, and then I just brush through everything. Like so, like it just doesn't pull. I just find if I use them, it doesn't pull my hair then. And then obviously you're not breaking it. So that's all brushed and then all I do then is just take my towel and just try and dry off the ends a bit more um because I hate the feeling of your hair being like really wet does anybody else feel like that it's mostly just the ends um I feel like it just takes ages to dry if not and then all I do then is I just put some oil through the end. So this is just one that I got from Home Bargains, to be honest. Um, got to be oilicious, tame and shine styling oil um, with Argonaut. And I just take, I use this dry, wet oil. You know, like when you've curled your hair, um, I break up the curls with the oil. Like 
yeah i just feel like it makes my hair feel really nice so yeah and that is literally all i do and then i'm just gonna let it air dry out for the rest of my life uh, rest of my life rest of my night um because i'm not doing anything now so yeah i still feel really full um which i'm really annoyed about because i was really looking forward to tea also i'm really running out of well either um so yeah i think i'm gonna leave it a minute before i have tea so i really enjoy it but the weather has been great and horrible all day and it looks like it's gonna rain and it's beautiful and sunny i love it so yeah that's me usual skincare when i say skincare I just put my moisturizer and lip balm on and that is it so yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit when i actually do something i'm gonna try and find something to watch on tv now i think so yeah right everyone i'm gonna show you real quick because i am quite hungry now but this is tea so it's just i got it from sainsbury's it's like filled pasta is it tortellini and then this is a tomato and mascarpone sauce and i just put parmesan on top so yeah and then i've got my calafanta some garlic bread and then i'm just watching sex life um season one was definitely better but i'm like nearly at the end now so i've just got to finish it so yeah Hello everyone, good morning and happy Saturday. So I've been to the gym this morning. Um, I really like the Saturday classes. Like when I'm here and I'm not doing anything, I really like going to them. I feel like it starts my weekend off well. Um, I'm gonna try and move you so I'm not so much in the sun. Is that better? A little bit. Um, so it's about half 11 now. I am going out for like food and drinks today with some of the girls at work. Um, so I need to be in Ormskirk for two o'clock. So, I don't know why I'm looking, I know what time it is. It's about um, 25 to 12 now. I need to leave here about half 12. Um, I've got, I don't really know like, it's like Duke Street Market. Um, if anybody's been sat in Liverpool or like the Bolton market. So I've got some toast and then I've just made myself a protein smoothie um, and I'm hoping that fills me up to be honest because I didn't really, I don't want lunch because I feel like I'll be eating lunch later. So yeah, I'm going to do my skincare, makeup and then start curling my hair last night so I just need to brush them out. I might need to run over with the car though, but we'll see. Um, I don't know why I just took that mouth when I was speaking to you. But yeah, that's the plan. I'll show you what I'm wearing because I feel like I haven't done many um, out of the days this week. And they're usually like a go-to. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. The weather, it's so sunny outside. It looks lovely, but it's so windy. And it's only about um, 12 degrees, so it's not actually that warm. So it's uh, a bit tricky to know what to wear, but I think I'm gonna wear my skirt, tights, boots, and then my leather jacket, I think. Cause I feel like that, I can take my jacket off if I get too warm. So yeah, that is the plan for today. So I'm gonna do my makeup quickly. I'll show you what it looks like after because I have done, it's just my usual go-to maker. Uh, so I do have a video up actually. It's uh, get ready with me for date night. I'm doing the same makeup for that. So if you want to go and watch that. So yeah, I'll show you outfit and all that after. Hello everyone. So I'm all ready. I swapped what I was going to wear. Um, I was going to wear this top anyway, but with a skirt and tights and boots but i don't know the sun just put me off the tights 
and the skirt it's good for a night out but i don't know whether it works like a day event so i just got these ripped jeans on from misguided top is pretty little thing and then i'm going to put my leather um zara jacket on because even though it is very sunny outside it is very windy and it's not that warm so just gonna wear this and then um i'm just gonna put my dior on i've got my silver and white new balance on i just need to fix how this sits oh i did it in there but yeah i'm just gonna put some jewelry on i just brushed out my curls and hairspray let me put some jewelry on Right, I've just put some jewellery on. I've put some gold earrings and then some gold rings. Um, I'm going to wear this perfume. It's the... I'm not good at saying the name. Is it Charlotte Herrera or something? It's Good Girl. Um, if you watch my row vlog, I got it on the plane. Like, on the plane because they had a massive discount. But then I also have it in um, the like fm version and i've got a little bit of that left so i'm going to take that with me just going to take my little comb and then i should be ready to go so i'll show you what i can i'm not very good at vlogging from people and not many people from what know that i do it um so yeah but 